Hello, my friends. Welcome to week number 14 of Napoleon Hill's A Year of Growing Rich. Week 14's title is Showmanship. Consider the case of Joe Dahl. Joe's a hardworking guy, diligent, faithful, punctual, dependable, and resourceful. He gives his company more than it's due in time, effort, and energy. It would seem that Joe is bound to achieve success. But he won't. Joe isn't going anywhere. Others, considerably less worthy, are getting the promotions and raises. The fact is that Joe lacks showmanship. He simply never attracts the attention of the right people. Are you like Joe? If so, develop showmanship and watch how much easier it is to climb the ladder of success. However, before you say, Eureka, that's it, there's my answer. Remember this cautionary note. There is a distinct difference between true showmanship and less honest ways of attracting attention to yourself. Apple polishing, for example, will gain you more enemies than friends. So will outright boastfulness. True showmanship is creative. It has, as the name implies, a certain entertainment value. It demands ingenuity and a good sense of timing. Bernard McFadden's flair for showmanship, for example, sometimes bordered on the bizarre. But he made a payoff in millions by parachuting in red flannel underwear from airplanes and by walking down Broadway in his bare feet to create enormous publicity for all his enterprises. You needn't go to such extremes. Sometimes special attention to the niceties of courtesy and politeness can achieve the same proposes. Glenn R. Fouch, former president of the Stay Form Company, tells the story of a friend who rose to become president of a large hoist and dare company in Texas by using showmanship. As a young salesman, he sold his first small hoist. He wrote the head of the shipping department thanking him for getting the order delivered promptly. He wrote the paint department to tell how proud he was when he saw the bright red finish of the hoist be, being unpacked. Through the years, he made a point of trying to let each member of the firm know how worthwhile he thought their services were. By appreciating the value of others, he became the most appreciated man in the firm. Remember that true showmanship must follow a positive course. It never knocks or minimizes the value of other people. No one can climb to success on someone else's shoulders. Also, if you are like good old dependable Joe, you may be too modest or too shy in retiring to present your ideas to the right people in person. If that's the case, write memos. Putting an idea in writing ensures that credit goes where credit is due. But don't wait. Start now to use showmanship as a tool to build your success. So there you have it. Week number 14, showmanship. I thought that was a pretty good one. Listen, I wanted to invite you to uh, check out my blog. I'll leave the link here at the bottom of the video. Make it a great day. And I will see you again next week for week number 15.